This short video is going to look at how to address a problem of having good quality audio in your video that you've been editing in only one channel. So if you listen to this video very carefully that I've got in this Camtasia Studio editing application, you can hear good quality audio only in the left um, speaker or the left headphone. Right, I think it's important first of all to say what we use PBL for in York. So this problem is often caused by people using a mono microphone with a camera, um, a stereo camera setup, and as you will have heard, you've only got good quality audio in one speaker. Um, this is not something, unfortunately, that we can resolve within Camtasia or within many other standard um, video editing applications. So we'll have the same problem in something like Movie Maker. We need to export the audio from our video editing application work with it in a dedicated audio editing program and then pull it back into Camtasia. So I'm going to demonstrate this process with Camtasia but it'd be fairly similar if we were using Windows Movie Maker or something else. Okay, so the first stage is to export just the audio track on its own. So I'm going to choose File, Produce Special, Export Audio As and I'm going to call it something. I'll stick it on the desktop and I'm going to call it Only One Speak and then that will export fairly quickly. Um, in Windows Movie Maker, if you were using that, you might have to do something a little bit more convoluted. You can file, save, movie, produce audio only. Okay, and I'll call this only one speaker. But the file format that this produces audio in isn't compatible with the audio editing program that we're going to use in the next step. So I'm going to show you a little trick of how to get around that in a moment. Okay, so I've got an audio file, a standalone audio file. The next step is to load up my audio editing program and pull, it, pull the audio into that. So I'm going to use Audacity, which is a free open source program that you can download. I'm going to choose File, Import, Audio, and I'm going to find, first of all, I'm going to find the one that we exported from um, Camtasia, which is called Only One Speaker, and it's a WAV file. Okay, and we can see here, visually, we can see that this channel, the left-hand channel, is fine. The right-hand channel has got um, just pure distortion in that. But the way to sort this out is really straightforward. We just come up to the drop down arrow at the top of the track in um, Audacity, click on this, and choose Split Stereo Track to Mono. And what this will do is it will give us two standalone tracks, one of which has just good audio in, one of which has just distortion in. And if I play just the distorted one, we should hear that it has got something in there, but it is just the echo of the good quality audio. It's the echo in both ears though in this instance and if I choose just the top one then we should hear just good quality audio in both ears. important first of all to say what we use PBL for in York. Basically there are three... Okay, so I'm happy with that. I can close off the one that I don't want to keep. The one that I do want to keep I'm going to keep on screen and I'm going to choose File, Export and save it again as a WAV file that we can pull back into our video editing program. So I'm going to call this one only one speaker mono. Just before we move on back to the editing program, I just want to show you what happens with files that we've produced by Movie Maker. If I choose File, Import, Audio, and choose only one speaker M4A, which is what uh, Movie Maker produced, you get this warning. Okay, and this warning basically tells us that it can't um, work with M4A files it'll expecting something like a WAV or an AIF or an MP3. So before we can pull it into Audacity, we'd need to take that file and convert it to something that Audacity would work with. There's a few programs for this. The one that I recommend I really like is WinFF. It's free, open source again. Okay, so once we've got our mono audio, we can come back to our video editing program. Then it's really straightforward. I'm just going to import our new standalone um, audio. So it's called Only One Speaker Mono. Okay, and then I'm going to, in, in Camtasia, I'm going to insert a new audio track. I'm going to drag our new audio down to the new audio track. 
I'm going to pull it right up to the start and make sure it perfectly aligns. Um, I might just play the video at this point just to make sure that, it's, um, that both the, the audio tracks are, are perfectly in, in sync with each other. First of all, to say what we use PBL for in York. So there's no discernible echo there, um, which would indicate that the, the audios were out of sync slightly. And then the final thing is to just mute the sound in the first audio track. So before I do that, I'm going to lock the second audio track, because I'm happy with that. Come to audio and make it silent. Okay, and then we've just got the audio that I've re-imported and the video from the original track. Basically, there are three key stages to people. And now you should be able to hear that we've got audio from the video in both ears.